Dr. Fred Sulit himself, and he is the CEO of, CEO of Mivel Biochemistry. Dr. Fred Sulit, welcome to our platform now. Well, hello. So I'm really pleased to reconnect with Phytoscience. As Juan Triel already mentioned, we can look back to 10 years collaboration, which was really very successful. So a very warm welcome from Switzerland to the whole Phytoscience family. I hope you can hear me and see me and that this uh, will be a nice reconnection. And I want to congratulate first Phytoscience for this opening of the Bangkok business. And of course, I want also to thank Puan Sri Ella for inviting me to this event. And it's going to be my great pleasure to introduce to you a little bit information about our stem cells. And based on this research, we did or investigated the research of plant stem cells. And it was in the year 2008 when Mibel Biochemistry launched the first plant stem cell products for the cosmetic industry. And this was the apple stem cell. So we have a selected material. We grow this material on an uh, agar plate where we have the so-called callus tissue. And out of that, we can isolate the stem cells which deliver the beneficial effects to our body. Now, the first stem cell we did was coming from an apple. So an apple that sounds very basic, but actually our apple was very special because it was a very, very old breed, which had a name Utwiler Spätlaube. So this is an apple breed from Switzerland coming from the 18th century. And this apple has some very special properties. It has a very good storability. This means this apple does age much longer and does age much uh, slower than other apples. So this apple delays aging. And we thought, okay, if we take this apple and we isolate the stem cells from this apple, we can also delay aging in human bodies. This was our concept and it worked. So how can we prepare and make stem cells from plants? For that, we take a part of the plant. It could be the fruit, the leaf, the flower, whatever. We make it sterile and we wound it and then we incubate the material. So here we have taken the fruit on special agar plates and the plant then, as it is wounded, will develop a wound healing tissue, which is called the callus tissue. And out of that callus tissue, we can then isolate the plant stem cells. And these plant stem cells can then be grown and multiplied to make a biomaterial, which then can be isolated and prepared to make it usable in cosmetics or in food supplements. These stem cells are then cultivated in sterile bags, as you see here and we can multiply big volumes of these stem cells. Now, how does it work? How can plant stem cell have an activity on human stem cells? I have here the example of a skin stem cell. In the epidermal part, that's the top part of the skin, we have some skin stem cells. These skin stem cells then divide into the so-called transient amplifying cells, and then into the keratinocytes, which make up the skin. So all the green cells up here actually have derived from one single stem cell from the mother cell. And of course, we understand that this mother cell is the most important cell of the skin in our body. And we could show then that apple stem cells can rejuvenate these mother cells, these skin stem cells, and therefore rejuvenate the whole skin to have an anti-aging effect. And this story got extremely famous. So once we published this data, we had very much uh, publicity and we were presented in the Vogue magazine in the United States. Michelle Obama was claiming that she's using apple stem cell creams and this made the whole thing very famous.